Welcome guys to a brand new video on solo leveling arise. Now we have ourselves a brand new developer note that actually gave us two new codes as well. So the codes will be in the comment section, but the only code I'm pretty sure most of you guys are going to be interested in is the, um, the essence stone code that gave you also events tickets times five but the second code also gives a 30 percent web shop discount coupon which is pretty much going to be a well territory of people that uh, spend this is what you guys are going to be interested in so both those codes will be in the comment section but you will also find 15 codes from me that will give you guys 1k essence stones now we are going to be getting new codes as well for the content creators and we will be giving that out as well later on so to make sure you guys get those codes go ahead and support the channel press the link support the channel and you guys will be given a code if you didn't get the codes that i've sent off previously then reach out to me on discord so discord link or discord information will be in the comment section not comment section in the description of the video so go ahead and um you know message me uh, i do suggest joining the solo leveling um arise what's it called server so that you can reach out to me that way instead of actually being able um, instead of sending me a friend invite just message me and it should be a uh, i should be able to receive it now this brand new developer note is absolutely crazy because it talks about future plans and future updates that the devs are going to be doing to the game and we are going to be getting new skins um you know change in some stuff as well so let's go ahead and take a look at this stuff right now so uh, many of the updates according uh, announced in the previous developer notes will be finally introduced next week so next week we're also going to be getting a new character so let's preview the key points our hunters should prepare for in advance so a different fusion system so our team has been continuously working on reducing the difficulty of in-game content however beyond simply lowering difficulty we have also considered many uh, different consider ways to provide enjoyable action control whilst ensuring easy gameplay in our game in addition to weapons and the artifacts which are required uh, referred to as equipment various elements such as ruins blessing stones and gems contribute to the fun of of growth and action however we felt that it's challenging to derive enjoyment from acquiring and using high grade ruins and blessing stones fu through fusion so you know how you fuse the low grade uh low grade ruins in hopes of getting higher grade ones so they thought that's not really a good system so through this update we aim to increase the success rate of the fusion okay that's actually a good good news because i believe i only have one legendary room and most of the time when i you know fuse the blue runes the rare runes i never get an epic which pisses me off so hey increasing the success rate is a massive massive w um so what else how um how about saving your runes blessing stones and gems for each rank in anticipation of the upcoming improved fusion system so basically what you should not be doing right now is fusing anything do not fuse gemstones ruins or anything right now just wait until this update goes live or you're pretty much going to screw yourself so yeah pretty important following the updates we will also provide chests where you can select heroic blessing stones and ruins okay allowing you to experience the joy of combinations of choices so massive w and then the next part is the on um, hunter archive upgrade with secret library so uh, we've heard your concerns about the accumulating hunter archive key after completing all the archives simply stopping the accumulation of keys once all archives are completed doesn't seem to be the best solution so additionally we wanted to address this issue by waiting several days to view a single hunter story now in hunter archive you can enjoy any hunter's um, entire story with just one key. The remaining key provided daily can be used to play a specific hunter's secret library where you can obtain various rewards including hunter store um, costume so the costume image showcase is for park hey jim and she looks absolutely stunning with this brand new costume absolutely love it as well so immerse yourself in the stories of the hunter you encounter in solo leveling arise okay the next part is many people want to be able to run around so you know the is it lobby yeah the lobby many people want to run around with the hunters they have instead of just song jun Wu. so basically they're going to allow you to use your hunters in the lobby as well you can run around with them i personally don't care too much about this but i do think it's a great addition because just everyone running around the song jun Wu in the lobby screen is just not great uh so having the choice to select the hunters you like 
to run around with it's cool especially if you you get the skins for the characters having the skin to be able to showcase the skin in lobby as well is going to be pretty cool as well and i'm pretty sure the reason why they introduced this system as well is because of guild because once guild comes out they don't just want everyone running around with the same song jiru because i'm pretty sure the lobby screen is going to be like you can meet hunters in the same lobby maybe like that and they don't want you guys just to be all running around with song jiru they want some very very variations with people running around with mr with uh, uh Cha -Hame. so this is a great improvement uh now for more improvements even good things can become monotone so we now skip you can now skip the power of destruction opening and meet enyo faster now i do think power destruction takes too long i actually don't do power destruction every day i'm not even gonna lie it's just too long I, even if i do it i let the ai control it i just find it so annoying to do it but i don't think skipping the beginning scene is, is enough to make this less tedious than it is um so i don't know what to say to this but anyways the max multiplier for end commissions and instance dungeons will be doubled so i actually spend in this game to be able to do four instance dungeon and four in uh, four end commissions at the same time because doing two every single time is so annoying it's so tedious and i know a lot of free to play players hate this so now the devs are going to be doubling it up so if you're a free to play player now you can run four um end commissions at the same time or you can you know how you do it it's plus four instead of being forced to buy a specific pack to be able to do that now for people that paid i'm guessing they doubled up to eight now so from four to eight i'm guessing that's how it's going to be like um for hunters without the daily growth support benefits this is what i'm talking about it will increase up to four times so yeah improving gameplay for more enjoyable and convenient experience so i'm guessing if you do have the growth support benefit it should be doubled up as well um yeah anyways good to know in advance this is another stuff that um, i believe many people mentioned so we know that many hunters like to prepare for new events in advance therefore there's a brief overview for the points events i can't lie the points events suck i am not I, I don't care for it i hate it so much and i guess people do care about it so that they can prepare beforehand instead of like doing the weapon growth they can wait for the weapon growth event i just hate it i hate it i just don't like limiting myself just because an event is coming that will give me rewards for doing what i should be doing every single day it's kind of stupid in my opinion but hey getting this improvement I, I i guess for people that actually care being able to know what's coming up next is going to be great so a growth event for the new hunter yunsu yu yu son hun so the next character um and weapon growth events are scheduled i'm pretty sure you guys already knew that i don't know why the devs actually wrote this because of course when a new character comes out we are going to be getting events every single time similar to what happened with um elicia so answers aiming for this event rewards and rank rewards should take notes and manage the weapon growth speed accordingly uh the guaranteed ssr feature for special summons now this is very important listen up very very important so for, for those people who are doing that monthly subscription stuff this is very important to take notes of so on the 16th of july you will now be able to get two ssrs in one multi so the guaranteed ssr feature for special summons will be implemented starting on the 7th, 16th of 7th if two hunters do not appear within a certain number of special summons the rate of two ssr appearing will increase and by the 10th summon two ssr will be guaranteed to appear in the special summons now this is very very flipping important do not use your special summons before the 16th don't even do it you're literally gonna screw yourself up don't don't even do this do not do this i literally will have to make a separate video on this because this is very very important do not do this it will be a massive massive mistake so so please mark the 16th of july on your calendar and plan your use and purchase of the special summon tickets accordingly so conclusion your encouragement and thoughtful advice means a lot okay who cares now i've gone i've gone ahead and told you guys about the two codes you guys can go ahead and use but again codes my codes will be down in the comment section support the channel don't forget to like the video subscribe let's get this video to 50 likes i like that all of these changes but of course some of the changes were like um actually you know what it's just a good change all around good change i, I guess i get it i guess why the dead devs did all of this stuff um i wish we can get the skill information for the next character because she's coming very very soon but yeah we have literally no information around her except leaks actually let me see uh may salvage product engine soon we can i think we got a new cm note let me just quickly check what this is about 
uh the workshop older salvage event thingy yeah that sucks anyways it's been your boy ac gamer don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm out